Hey everybody, it's Jackie, and in this lecture we're going to talk about collage. What are collages? We'll take a look at the meaning of this art term, and then we're going to see some examples. So let's start with the definition of the word collage, provided here by the Tate Modern's website. Collage comes from the French word coller, which means to glue, so it makes sense that the meaning of this term, quote, describes both the technique and the resulting work of art in which pieces of paper photographs fabric, and other ephemera are arranged and stuck down onto a supporting surface. Artists have been gluing stuff to other stuff for ages, but there is one art movement that springs to mind when I think about collage, and that's Dada. Dada began in Switzerland as a reaction to World War I. As artists tried to make sense of the world following the extreme turbulence of this global conflict, the Dada artists delighted in the absurd. They use their work to ask poignant questions about the nature of art. What is the role of art within society? What is the meaning of art in the wake of these tragedies? The objective of this art movement was to upend bourgeois sensibilities as they grappled with these challenging ideas. You might recognize this urinal, which was made by one of the most famous Dada artists, Marcel Duchamp. Duchamp entered this urinal into an art competition under a pseudonym in 1917 in New York City. It was a move that was meant to puzzle viewers, and it did. In fact, we still talk about this work in art history classes because it was so shocking to audiences at that time. This gives you a sense of the importance of this art movement within history. While Duchamp is perhaps the best known Dada artist, other artists associated with this movement include Francis Picabia, Man Ray, and Hannah Hosh, whose work we are going to look at next. Let's get back to collage. As I mentioned, Hannah Hosh was a German artist, and she was associated with Dada earlier in her career. She collaged images and text from mass media sources such as newspapers to call attention to the absurdity of some aspects of popular culture. She was also interested in critiquing the role women were expected to play within society. In this work, we see the BMW logo repeated as a motif while a female figure seems to be the central motor of an imaginative contraption. Here's another example of a collage made by Hosh. In this piece, she seems to be advertising the art movement Dada. By working with snippets from mass media, her collages become a reflection of the world at this moment in time. Here we see a fascination with machinery and wheels, echoing how the world was being sped up by industrialization. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries led to the invention of war machinery leading to unparalleled destruction during World War I. Switching gears to the present day, collage remains a popular format for creating work among many living artists. This is Wajenshi Mutu, an artist born in Kenya who now lives in New York City. She often uses collage as a way to talk about race, gender, and cultural norms. This untitled work from 2004 shows the body of a woman, but when you look closely, you can see that Mutu has incorporated the wheel hub from a car alongside parts of the body, which have been taken from various magazine sources. These materials are pasted together, creating an image that feels alluring and repulsive at the same time. A splash of red paint feels violent within this image, hinting at one of the recurring themes of Mutu's works the violence and misrepresentation that plague women, especially black women. Continuing this same thread, this collage titled Ghouls on My Back Celebrate My Murder from 2003 combines butterflies with body parts. We've seen from this short presentation that collage is a very expressive medium. In historical and contemporary examples, we have explored how collage has been used to critique society. It's also very democratic. Old newspapers and magazines can be easy to find. To make a collage, all you need are some scraps and some glue. Because of these readily available supplies, collages can be a quick way to start making some artwork.